Right. Clearing the deck slightly. So, um, what I'm going to do is, as per Paul Compton, thank you, Paul. Uh, Paul Compton's um, suggestion is to take the lid off. I'll take these out of the way without the ball in or anything. In fact, I'll get rid of all that, don't I? Don't want anything falling in the gearbox, that would be a bit of a disaster. Um, what I'm going to do is um, actually I'm just going to make a bit of a noise because my compressor's going on. <laughs> Get me some Allen keys. Um, not sure whether the metric or imperial. You never can tell, can you? And it looks like the metric. Um, there's the metric keys here. They are. Right. Which one? There we go. That chap there. Let's put those out of the way. Right, I'm going to clean off around the edge just to make sure. I think there's a sort of gasket in here. So I, I did take it off when I first got it, just to have a look to see if I could see what the what, what the problem was with the noise, but never got to the bottom of it. So let's see what happens. Now I'll tell you what I need to do first. I was just going to run it. So if I put it at let's um, if I stick it at. Um, Say 180 RPM, that's 180, right? Let's just run it at 180. So this is 180. You can almost count that. That's 180. Now, um, that's, that's the middle speed gearbox. So if I do that, that should now be 800. So here's 800. That was 800, and if I try to the lowest speed, which is 40, so that's 40. Sounds like a tooth to me at that point. Like you said, Paul, it sounds a bit tooth like there, doesn't it? When it's on slower, it does. So let's take the lid off. Ooh, I wonder if the oil's going to go everywhere. I've got some perspex, so. And stick it over whether it's big enough, I don't know. I'll, I'll have some somewhere. Let's get this off and have a look. Have a quick butchers. I'm sorry for my American um, to my American friends, I do quite often use Cockney rhyming slang like butchers and barnet and such like, but you don't need some new words. All right, let's get this done. Lots of gooey you. Um, do I want those up there? Mm. Bit of rubble, make sure nothing falls off. Right, nearly there. It's three out, three more to go. Of course, these are going to be a bit, a bit harder to get out because they're under this shelf here. Look, so I'm doing this way on. So I'll like spin it around like that. That'll do. Now, this could be very messy. Because from memory, it splashes all over the lid, and the lid gets very, 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 very. I don't know what that does, but very, very something. Not coming off. I think it might have some sealer or something. In it. There's definitely any of those, isn't there? Yeah, because that's for the lamp. Um, let me just get something to give it a. Just see if it needs a little bit of a persuasion. Hmm. Um. What do I, what, let me just have a look, there we go, just a, a drift, there we go, that's it, right, I think it's just slightly sealed on, yeah, that's alright, yes it has got oil underneath it, 
Oh great, I've got my Allen key in already. Right, that's off. Let me just put that down somewhere. Oh shit, where am I going to put it? Here. Oh, yeah. Trying to put it somewhere where I don't get any swarf in it because that's not going to be very good inside. Right, there you go. Let me see if I can rescue the key. There we go. Right, so we're looking inside now. So if I can, is it possible to knock it? Out in the camera, can you? Right, I've, I've done this before, but I can't remember right, how it all goes. Yeah. Now the teeth. Now let me just get you all guys. You got a bit closer in. Let's see if you can have a look inside. Let's um. Let's give it some. More. So uh, there we go, we're inside the gearbox now. Can you all see what's going on in there? As you can see it all looks quite clean. This is obviously the main spindle and or the, rather the, the spindle coming through and try not to drop anything, any shit in there, but uh, excuse my French. But you can see that there's no not really anywhere on those those really, they're pretty clean. But um what we need to do is try and um try and have a look at the different gears so let's see if I can get that one spinning so if we look around that one there it's absolutely fine I can't let me just see because it's it's going to be one two dare I run it dare I run it the trouble is is that if I run it no oh, I'll tell you what let me get a piece of perspex this could be funny this could this could get me a million hits Right, hang on a minute. Is this big enough? It probably is. I'm going to peel the backing off. This is uh, actually this piece of perspex I bought the other day for a, a flywheel for a, a small heat engine. I think I'll use it for this. I can always get another piece. It was only a, I think it was about 50p or something like that from the local auto jumble. Let me just put that allen key up there. Right, so mm, a bit of plastic on that's kind of that. So you know, that is that that's just for the gears isn't it? That that's not gonna spin. So if I put that over there, if it does start shoving out oil everywhere. Oh are you ready? This could be really funny. Um what speed am I on? I can't I can't see now because it's written on the bloody lid. Um Um, let me do it at 40, which is um, the middle. And if I put that left hand one to the far right, right. So if I put this one to the far right, which is there, that's the slowest speed. So you ready? Ready for a laugh? Ah, that answers the question. Yes, it does spray everywhere. So let me just move that across because it seems to come up on that back side mostly. So if we put that on there, let's try again. Here we go. That does answer your question. It's an amazing oiling system, actually. So, good. Uh, me now. Um, the piece of perspex isn't quite big enough. Uh, I'm going to stop it because I'm getting coat. It's covered in oil. So that might help us. I think it's that shaft there. So, oh, hang on a minute. I can see something on that dog thing. Let me just get rid of the oil. I'll just leave that to drain. Um, can you see that there? Let me get. Oh shit! Let me just get this. So there, look. I've never noticed that before, but it might not be anything to do with it. Let me just. Mm, hang on a that there. What's that about? I don't know actually 
quite what these are and what that little segment there is unless it's supposed to be there I'm not sure um, does anyone know what that is but this shaft here now that's in the high speed oh, so that's low speed that's medium speed and then that's fast speed but hmm, that might not be related however this shaft this it could be the, the bearing that's or well, it's this shaft maybe something around there because it's looking at the ray anyway I'm gonna go and um, just uh, this back up over here so well, I think um, what I think we'll do is um, I'm going to put the video, go and put the video on my computer, and I'll stick it into um, stick it into Spectrum Lab, which is the software which I was recommending to you all, and we can work out the frequency of the beat um, with regards to the speeds as per the first bit of the video, and then we'll have a look at that, and I'll post this obviously, um, and you guys can have a look at the inside and see. If you can spot anything untoward, I think I'll put the lid back on to stop the cat falling in or anything like that. Which they, you know, cats, they like uh, an adventure. I don't know that that was going to be a bit dirty now, isn't it? Let me put that over there. So I'm just going to put the lid back on. <coughs> nice red colour inside. I wonder why they do it that colour. Uh, this way on. Certainly a sturdy lid. Goes back on there. Just pop a couple of these in, just for good measure. Okay. Leave it like that, and we'll go have a look. <laughs> 